All right, guys, so here is my spring bushcraft day pack that I use. Uh, and this isn't for overnighters or anything. It's just for going out in the day and maybe building, uh, having a little campfire, a little lunch, uh, just relaxing, you know, hanging out. So uh, let's see what we got in here. First, we got a Nalgene. I don't know about you, but a Nalgene is literally the best water holder for, like, hiking, camping, pretty much anything. Probably because it holds a whole lot. Let's see, it holds 32 ounces. That's a lot of water. And it's fairly light uh, and it's hard plastic. You can chip this thing off of like a mountain and it probably would stay together. It's been through a lot. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like a groove to this one. This has been with me for quite a few years. I uh, sat it next to the fire to heat up some water once and yeah, it kind of, the heat from the flames kind of bow the water bottle so but it's still functional always go for now jeans yeah uh, okay on the front i got some work gloves they're not any particular work gloves uh just some from walmart i do suggest getting ones that have like a leather uh palms or on, on the fingers as well because uh if you're dealing with thorns or brush or something out in the woods when you're making a base camp you don't want to get stuck so there you go there's that let's see what else we got in here some zipper this oh this you're gonna like this okay so where is it okay so this is a zebco uh fishing rod it's made out of aluminum it's the the 33 telecast and this thing weighs nothing like this is excellent for backpacking if you like fishing when you're going when you go camping this is the one to bring because it, it weighs nothing and it's great it's detachable you can just attach it right in there like that screw it down you're ready to go and um, so yeah if you're looking for a fishing rod to take camping definitely the zebco telecast so you can get that one um let's see what else we got also my little miniature tackle box you can see it on the back it's just clear you can just see what's in there just some little baits and stuff but it, it doesn't take up much space it's great for hiking um let's see oh okay here's my fire kit it is an altoids can so not only do you get to enjoy altoids mints but you also get to use the tin afterwards so on the inside let's see what we got we got some jute twine and then there's also some birch bark in there i don't know if you can see it but there's some birch bark and then a Bic lighter, just in case my ferro rod um, doesn't decide to work that day. <clears throat> Me not being able to do it. <clears throat> Anyways, so there's that. Altoids can, perfect. And you can also use it as a char tin. If you find something that you want to char to you know, help catch a spark, you just put it in here and stick it in your fire and save it for next time. And whenever you get it out, it should be black. Use it as char. Anyways, so there's that. Got a juke twine. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm building a shelter, this is the only thing I'll use. I won't use paracord or anything because that stuff's expensive. And as you know by my channel's name, Broke Boys Bushcraft, I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I just get a stick, I whittle it, I stick it right through here. Got my own, my own little um, new twine bundle thing, roll, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so um, it's cheap. Uh, it's fairly strong. Obviously, it's not as strong as paracord, but this is all I used on the Hidden Hideaway Bushcraft Camp. Um, it works great. I love it. You might need to replace it every six months or so. Maybe more often, depending on the elements. It just depends. But um, for the most part, this stuff's pretty good. I definitely suggest you using this if you're going to build a base camp. And also, another great thing of why to use it is because it's all natural. You're not, you know, hurting the environment in any way. So that's another reason why I use it. So it's great, cheap, reliable, and useful. So there's that. Let's see. Okay, um, for my tools, it just depends on what I'm going to be doing that day. But I have a, an assortment of tools. I have the uh, Gerber machete. It's got the uh, kind of like the curved blade on it curved blade on it as you can see um it's worked great i've had it for years uh, it's sharp as i'll get at but um it's great for clearing out brush the curved blade helps a lot with that if you're you know clearing out um, some space for a base camp it's also great in the springtime because now is when all the vegetation and plants come out and you know 
Everything's overgrown. You can't find a good place. Use that. Okay, next moving on to my Fisker's Camping Axe. Now this thing is a bomb. I'll tell you what. It might not be as expensive as a Grand Sports Brooks Axe or anything, but I'll tell you what, for the price, you can't beat it. Uh, this is the 24-inch um, axe, and uh, let's see, it's called the Fisker's X15. You can look it up on uh, Amazon. It's not that expensive. It's like 40 bucks, I think. Um, however, I do wish I had a better sheath. I want a leather sheath, but I can't find a leather sheath to fit it, like, anywhere. But, yeah, I have only, I mean, I have a little sharpener, to, like a hand sharpener to sharpen it with, but also... I've only had to take it to a grinder once, and I've had it for two years. So, and it hasn't failed me yet. It's great. So yeah, if you want um, like heavier tasks, this is the perfect size because it's 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 in the middle between a full blown ax and then a hatchet. It's like right in the middle. It's 24 inches, and uh, for smaller tasks, it is a little bit um, bulky. So I'm gonna get a smaller one as well, but like a hatchet, but. That, that's reliable. I like it. Now moving on to the saws. I have two different saws I want to show y'all. I got the Sven saw. This is what it packages down to. I'm not going to take it out and put it together, but basically what it does is it makes a triangle with the blade on the bottom and the handle right here. And um, this thing weighs literally nothing. Like I don't know how like how much it would weigh, but it doesn't weigh barely anything. It's great for backpacking. It packs down and you stick it pretty much wherever. And uh, it's aluminum, but it, it's pretty durable. I've, I've had this for as long as all my other tools, and it's held up great. Haven't even had to replace the blade. Um, probably will need to do that pretty soon, though, because it's starting to bill out a little bit. But it's great. I love it. It's called the Sven Saw, S-V-E-N. You can get it on Amazon. It's not too expensive. Most of the stuff that I'm showing y'all isn't very expensive, but it's it works great. So the other saw that I have... Um, now this thing is awesome. It's like a silky saw, but an off-brand silky saw. It's called uh, just the SOG hand saw. You can look it up on Amazon and get it. And I love this thing. My girlfriend got it for me for Christmas this past year. And I mean, this thing's great for like smaller logs or anything between like probably around that thick. Uh, it's great. Like for the roof of my um, little hut A-frame shelter thingamajig from the bush, uh, Hidden Hideaway Bushcraft Camp. Uh, I use this entirely on the roof. I didn't even need my spin saw. So uh, definitely, if you're looking for a cheaper variant of the silky saw, definitely go for the SOG uh, hand saw. So, and it comes with this nice little carrying case too. So, boom, like that. Okay, moving on. Okay, let's go to my knives. I have two. Uh -huh. I have two that I like switch switch through. I have my Mora Bushcraft Black. Now this thing's a boss. It's about forty dollars on Amazon, but um, it's great. It doesn't come like looking like this. All it comes with is just just a black uh, Kydex sheath. Um, and so, what I bet you can mod them out like like I did. I put uh, paracord on here, some uh, electrical tape just to tie down the ends. And then I put Jutuan up here on top to, you know, in case I need a, a fire starter. And then um, I made a little holder for my ferro rod. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. See? And basically what I did here was I took a pin, you know, the casing that uh, the, um, the pin, I don't know, liquid, I don't know what it's called. But uh, that tube, that the tube that it goes into. I just cut it on both ends and then use that tube as the, it's the perfect diameter of my ferro rod. So I just slide it in there and then I used a, a, a hair band to just attach it so it doesn't fall out. See, it ain't going nowhere. And same with the knife. The knife isn't going anywhere either. It's in there. Um, I'll show you the blade. It's the Mora Bushcraft Black. It has a carbon blade, so it will rust if you like get it wet and leave it wet. But um, it's sharp. I mean, it came sharp. Uh, it's real lightweight. I love it. It's kind of thick, which is great for bushcraft. Um, if you want a baton and stuff, I don't know if you can see it. But it's a, it has a pretty thick blade. Um, the only complaint I have about this knife is it's not full tang. So you can't like stab it into something and step on it. It'll, it'll break. It's not full tang. That's the only problem. But um, other than that, it's great. It looks good. It's uh, real comfortable to use, honestly. 
Um, it has a 90 degree spine, so you can make strikes with the fire steel. It's great. Love it. It also comes with two different um, uh, belt loop clips. One that you can just like open up and slide on your belt, and one you have to actually remove your belt and slide it on your belt before you uh, reattach it at your waist. But um, overall, this knife's awesome. I love it. My other knife that I use a lot is the uh, the Mora, not the Mora, um, sorry about that, the Gerber, uh, the Bushcraft, the Gerber Bushcraft, and this thing is awesome too. It comes with like everything that I modded out with my own. It comes with a little ferro rod right here. It's smaller, of course, but it comes with it. Um, on the back of it, it actually has its own sharpener sharpener on it, so that's that's pretty useful. Um, and then the blade itself is serrated, a part of it, and then it's also just uh, straight. And the th back of it, this thing is thick. You're, you're going to definitely be able to baton some wood with that. Um, it's comfortable, you know, fits real good in my hand. Um, it has a survival whistle on it. I don't know if anybody's actually going to use that, but hey, it's got it on there. So, um, oh, that's another part. This uh, has a, it's full tang. And it has a metal butt so that you can, um, you know, baton from the tobacco of it and it won't, like, break it. So, uh, this is definitely a durable sturdy knife. You can beat this thing up, definitely. You don't have to be worried about breaking it. But, uh, my uncle got me that one. So, I'm not exactly sure how much this one costs. The more Bushcraft Black is about $40, but I don't know how much this one costs. But, um, this really good. Let's see what else we got in here. We have my tea kettle because whenever I go out in the woods I just want to you know maybe make some coffee or some hot chocolate or something it's great uh, it makes about two cups this one does um, and I got it with a kit so if you're looking for a, like a specific kit uh, for uh, you know like um, dishes and stuff just uh, look around on Amazon they got some pretty cheap ones and some pretty decent ones too so uh, going along with that this is my uh, my twig stove, and this thing's actually pretty cool. I like this. Um, let me show you. So it packages down real small and everything. Basically, what you do here, you put that there, just like that. Put the tray in there. Open up these just to be able to hold your pot. And there you go. Just like that. On the inside, you just put you just put your twigs down in there, and um, you know, make a little fire. And uh, what happens is the airflow goes through these holes on the sides and goes up under it, and it keeps it flowing, makes a good hot uh, fire, which is great to boil water on. Tea kettle, you just stick it right on there. There you go. It's great. Love it. Definitely get it. It is called. Let's see. Hold on. What's it called? called the Ohu Portable Stainless Steel Stove. I think it's like 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, that's O-H-U-H-U. -H -U. It's great. I love it. It's cheap, but it works great. So, there's that. Let's see. Also, got a hammock and straps in the bottom. I don't know about you, but I really don't care about getting an Eno hammock. It's just the name brand, because... Any other, they have like hundreds of different brands of hammocks that are just as good, but really the only thing you're buying when you're buying, you know, is the name brand. And I personally don't have that kind of money. So I just got an off brand uh, bare butt hammock, and this thing's amazing. I love it. I've had it for about a year now, hasn't had any trouble with it. It's huge, it's double nest, and it came with two straps. I mean, you can't beat it. All for like 30 bucks. So. Definitely look on Amazon. Basically, everything I got here is from Amazon. Next, moving on to my med kit. Now, this is the most important part of kit because you don't want to go in the woods and, like, die, okay? <laughs> or get a cut or get bit by something and not know, not have anything to, you know, help yourself out. So, the reason I have it in an orange um, pencil, I actually have it in a pencil pouch. I have it in neon orange, so it's easy for me to see and locate if something does happen and I need to get to my... Uh, you know, make it quick. This is definitely, you want to get something with a bright color on it. I have it also clear on the front 
to uh, so I can see inside what I need to get. I have like gauze, bandages, aspirin, um, burn cream, uh, anti itch cream, a sharpie. I have a sharpie in here. Always keep a sharpie in your um, in your med kit for a couple reasons. Well, one reason in mainly, but um, if you get bit by a snake, whether it's poisonous or non-poisonous, you don't know. Um, draw a circle around the bite mark and put the time that, it, that you were bitten. That's so that you'll know if it's swelling or not, or let the doctors know how much, it's swole, how much it has swollen since you've been bitten. And that's a, here's a survival tip for the day. If you get bit by a snake, no matter what kind it is, always assume that it's a poisonous one. Because you better say than sorry. And the biggest thing to do when you get bit by a snake is write that down, circle it, write down the time, but don't panic. Because if you break, if you raise your heartbeat, that's going to raise your blood pressure. And then whenever your blood pressure is higher, that's going to pump the venom throughout your veins. And that's not what you want. Okay, you want to stay calm, and you don't want to exert yourself as much as as much as you can. You don't you don't want to do that. So if you get bit. Don't run out of the park as quickly as, as you can, or the woods or whatever you're in. Don't just book it. You, take your time. You'll be okay. Just um, just take your time. If you have a heavy backpack on, just drop it. Don't, don't do it. Don't panic, because panicking is also going to raise your heart rate. Survival tip for the day. Hope you all enjoyed. So if y'all get bit by a snake, or ever have gotten bit by a snake, let me know in the comments. Okay, we're getting close to the end now. Um, oh, yeah. This is a uh, solar powered charger, and this thing is great. I mean, I love it. You can you know charge it by the sol uh, by the sun. It's solar powered, and then you can charge your phone with it, or you can just plug it in in the um, little outlet right here up to the wall and charge it that way. But I can charge my phone like five, not five, about four times with this thing. And uh, also, it's great is because you can. It has a flashlight on it, and this thing's pretty bright too, so. I love it. I'm not exactly sure what the name of it is. I can't remember, but if you just look up on Amazon solar powered uh, charger or solar powered power bank or something like that, this will come up. And this is what it looks like, just so you have a reference. All right. So, moving towards the end here, I have two more things. One is field notes. This is great if you want to take notes, if you're out there bushcrafting it up, or as I like to say, bushcrafting it up, then uh, this thing's great. You can just mark in it, write any kind of notes you have, you know, and draw little diagrams of what maybe kind of camps you want. I don't know, whatever you're into. Uh, but it's great because it has wax paper, and that means you can get it wet, and it won't mess anything up. I will say, however... You not some pens that I've used on it have uh, kind of messed it up, like they've smeared. So I, I suggest uh, using a pencil, which I have a pencil in there as well. That's field notes. Okay. And then lastly, I have just my old camping coffee mugs. Durable, heat retardant, and um, it's just great. I love it. It's looks looks nostalgic. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, uh, you can get these from any, any camping store, any, pretty much anything. Just look up on Amazon Camping Stainless Steel Cup or something. This one isn't stainless steel, I don't think, but those are the more lightweight ones. But anyways, um, yeah, that's my spring bushcraft uh, loadout. I hope you enjoyed I don't, I don't, I obviously don't carry all of this stuff whenever I go, um, but for the most part, um, this stuff is what consists in my day hike uh, bushcraft loadout. So, hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned in the next video. Um, we've have been having some really weird weather lately. Like, uh, it's like 30 degrees one day and then 70 degrees the next day. But hopefully this, uh, sometime this week, I'm going to get out in the woods and actually look for a new uh, base camp location to uh, make for you guys. And I'm actually going to film this process. So, um, yeah, stay tuned and enjoy. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe and comment any questions or uh, any other thoughts you might have. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.